absolutely insane <laughs> wow guys thank you so much for all your support over the years uh, especially the last couple of months and now comes the last hurdle to the million and we have something very big and special planned so yeah i never asked for it but do me a favor and share the channel with your friends that might like nubacring or car videos and let's get there soon so we can do even more cool things thanks again wow this is amazing very big boosty boy attached to an N54 attached to a E92 and you may remember this car from last year which belongs to Lukas good Hello. to seeing you back very thank happy you. because last happy year here. yeah thank you very much <laughs> this was already quite fast everyone was very uh, surprised by how this car is gaining speed especially with 300 60,000 kilometers or how many it, it was, was back? 363 three, three, on yeah. last video. Yeah, on last video. Now it has a bit more miles on it. Yes, uh, uh, 395 and growing. And also more horsepower. Yeah, more, more horsepower. Now we have four maps to choose from. Uh, 20, 22, 24 and uh, sorry, 27 and 30 PSI. Yeah. I think we will start on 27 and potentially there is not enough cooling with today's weather for 27 ah. PSI lab. But we can always change it on the fly and lower it if we have to or just okay. slow down. Okay, uh, so, so PSI we can lap all day long, it's enough cooling. How m so, uh, in terms of horsepower numbers, what uh, these PSI means? 560, 620, 750 ish. Yeah. Uh, yesterday I tested yeah. on the uh, 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 autobahn, and the last map unknown, but it should be close to 850, 900 brake horsepower. Wow. And over 1000 Newton meters. I don't think we need any of that. No, no not, not today. With these tires. No, definitely not, because, well, we actually did a lap, first recon lap, because it was foggy, it was wet, I wanted to see how, how the track is. We did the first lap with, it was like 620 probably? 620, yeah. It was the sec second map, and that was already in corners, like, Ugh. We are on Sport Contact 7s, so they are actually quite good and grippy, but still we have limitations of its, uh, well, tires are actually quite okay, but suspension is still, well, first of all, actually, yeah. it's, it's old. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, 120,000 kilometers, you said? Over, over 120,000. Yeah, yeah. It's a BA, B6 or B8? B8. B8, first time B8. Uh, so that would be the next point, and the brakes uh, for the speeds that you're doing yes. could be a bit better, but that's for the next time. Exactly. But, but now you already have some different pads and everything. So different the pads, uh, different pads, different uh, discs. The limitation is with traction control on, the rear is overheating because there is too much power. I know, so we're gonna yeah. switch it up for this lap and just like be very cautious ex out of the exit because it was already quite undrivable. Uh, now, another interesting point, it has a sunroof. Just joking. Another interesting <laughs> point is it has, well, as you can see, it has pedal shifts. You can see there, it has a ZF Auto 8-speed, but it has three pedals. Look at that, one, two, three. As a matter of fact, the clutch pedal is actually working. Yes, now it's working this year. Yeah. So. so last year it wasn't, but now you could actually clutch kick even fifth or sixth gear and just like do a rolling burnout of, yes. Uh, yes, if you want easy. to. <laughs> yes, and it is progressive. There is a potentiometer installed, which basically sends signal to the uh, gearbox TCU and then the gearbox disengages and then engages all three clutches at the same time. Yeah. So you can do very slow uh, drive-offs if you want to. Uh, or you can do just a very clutch fast kick, clutch yes. cheeks and It's uh, an old school control. launch control, basically. Yes, yes. the car is uh, partially drift, partially for fun, yeah. but mainly daily driven uh, yeah. vehicle. Uh, so it's not meant for track, but I like to take it to track a few times a year, uh, purely to have fun and to see where the next limitation is and what I need to improve further. For sure. No, this is definitely like an amazing uh, Autobahn cruiser, daily cruiser, because you came here also with your family. Yes. Uh, fantastic. and. Uh, it's it's not horrible in terms of like handling and brakes because it works especially for daily driving that's what this car is but for track 
it's a limitation and we need to be aware of that when we're going but it will be nice to see how fast the speedometer just jumps yeah. uh, forward so is there anything else we should notice you adjusted also the gearbox cooling opposite yes, of last year yes. so last year it was still on stock bmw oil cooler mm -hmm. this year we have separate 25 row uh, radiator with audi uh, <laughs> Uh, thermostat yeah so it opens at 77 or 83 degrees and then uh, the wind speed will do the cooling yeah and we have slightly bigger oil radiator 30 row instead of 25 row compared to last year nice uh, apart from that mapping uh, is different it's more suited to the mods I have uh, unfortunately just before coming here my fuel controller died okay. so I spent two days trying to make it work mm -hmm. and it is pretty much hot wired with uh, uh, relays where before uh, ECU controlled how much fuel engine demands mm -hmm. and it wasn't all the time at 100% pumps so we have a bit of uh, fuel heating but yeah. it should be fine for a lap or two I yeah, yeah. two hours in one go and it still is fine as long as I'm staying above half the tank yeah yeah I don't, don't, didn't have enough time to fix it the last thing we're running just a normal a normal petrol right there is like no methanol injection or uh, anything no methanol injection but we have uh, ethanol mix ah mix tank. okay so 60% mix ethanol and then we can use higher power maps okay sounds uh, good for normal petrol it's meant to run on 20 to 22 psi uh, because it's safe that way yeah uh, no issues and it's still plenty of power yeah all right uh, well let's hop in and do a lap I'm excited okay okay we made it onto the track I just got a notification that there's a crash at Flugplatz. This means we might not be able to achieve a fantastic speed in Schwedenkreuz afterwards. Uh, so that's our excuse. Yeah. But uh, should still be fun. TC is now fully up because otherwise it eats through the rear brake pads and cuts the. Yeah, well, I think we are like two millimeters of pads in one lap. Oh. <laughs> that's quite some. All right, off we go. This is typically like driving a drag racing car on the on the track. On the the turn in is like baby, 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 and then it, oh look, we have a straight. We can go gently, 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 gently full, and then boost kicks in. Yeet! And now we need to break already for the for the corner. Eh, eh, eh. Baby, it, baby, it, baby, it, baby. Come on, turn in, turn in, turn in. Oh, easy. <laughs> yeah, it's just like I'm so gentle with it. It's and yeah, I'm it's, not usually not really gentle with the cars. <laughs> it's a heavy car. It's a with fuel without driver, 1,670 kilo. Yeah. And there is the yellow flag for the footplatz crash. Yeah, like uh, there is no weight saving in this car because it still has air con. It's, it's yeah, we're interior. actually cruising with air con. Yeah. That's amazing all the seats, all the uh, dampening, so on motorway it's not too bad when you're cruising at 2000 revs and doing like 120, 140 kph, it's very comfy. I drive this car to Poland and back to UK at least once a year, if not more, and uh, yeah, no one is complaining, maybe apart from my wife when I'm trying to do 300 kph. <laughs> First world problems. Yes. single yellows, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's yellow, yellow. I mean, there's only one yellow in tourist traffic. There is no double yellow. Okay. The yeah, first gear is really aggressive because of extra uh, plates in the gearbox. Yeah. Again, for drag racing. Uh, but yeah, my choice was uh, put heavy uh, HP, uh, 8 HP 90 gearbox or do 8 HP 70 and reinforce it. Yeah. So I went with reinforced version. It's not as smooth. But... Something is blocked. Yeah. It's, it's low on power. No, that's fine. No, it's not like that. No, no, it's good. Yeah, I had to clear. 
with some locking in we did then like not a clear track we did 250 and I think that's safe because we did not turn in <laughs> <laughs> yeah I only have three uh, three uh, 235 uh, front section oh yeah no the tires and these are road tires so Yeah. <laughs> I'm braking already. <laughs> <laughs> My god. <laughs> oh. Oh. The brakes are holding up nicely, it's just like really I'm scared of the power kicking in, so yeah. Okay, turn, 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 turn. Yeah, my uh, tuner lives in the US, uh, wedge uh, tuning and uh, I do remote tuning with him, so he cannot feel the car exactly on, yeah. from the logs. But it still is amazing because on normal uh, daily driven map, it's quite smooth, uh, and you can drive it in town easily because it's big turbo, so low low revs. There is little torque. But uh, Ken said that he will be visiting Nurburgring next year, That's so good. yeah, he wants to meet you as well. And yeah, he has some crazy cars uh, in his garage. <laughs> like the front lifts up, you don't yeah, normally it's, see it's that it's on the really, camera. You cannot, like, you cannot turn in, it's just too much power. Too much power, <laughs> yeah. Jeremy Clarkson would never see that. <laughs> <laughs> True. I think the yellows are there to protect us, so we don't do any stupid stuff. Hopefully. It's, uh, <laughs> it's limiting again, so yes. check if you need to clear the codes. Yeah, it's because of that fuel controller. The uh, engine is getting too much fuel at the moment. Uh, and uh, it was okay if you uh, change gear 6500, but now we have lots of oil. Look at that, yeah, oil awesome. spill. Yeah. It's from here all the way to Steinstrecke. Someone did a very good job. Quotation marks. faster than last year. I think so. <laughs> but it's cutting power. Uh, that's a, yeah. I expected uh, water temperature. Ah, it's yellow anyway. Well. <laughs> yeah, because that was uh, not enough cooling for this power for the whole lap. Uh, we knew that yeah, before yeah. leaving, but it will ah, cool yeah, down it's, quickly. It's, it's actually the, yeah, it's, it uh, says coolant. the cooling. 120 degrees, it's uh, on the, warning. Uh, on, on the water? Yeah, on the water. Okay, yeah, We're already down to 116. Oh, it's cooling that. quickly, it's just... Uh, yeah, you cannot go really crazy. Yeah, bigger on. radiator for full throttle. Yeah. Oh, they nearly crashed. I know. I think we already proved yeah. the point. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something to work on, improve. Yeah. 
because like I said, the car is definitely also like saving us in the yellows. Yes. Because otherwise it would be a lot more overheating and then the next thing would be like overheating of the brakes or tires where I'm good, I think it's, it's a sign. Wow. But these tires, they don't squeal. They will slide up and they don't squeal. Yeah. No, they're good. I'm surprised by the qualities. And yet, <laughs> driving without traction control is a, more, a lot more exciting. It's on <laughs> yeah, the yeah. edge all the time. <laughs> Definitely. Even with like this, uh, even with the limbo. <laughs> at the back. Last year we had trousers, this year just a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> lasted me over six years but it's a part which is no longer available and it's from US it was $800 yeah uh, back then but that basically so we are not just a demonstration we're now in sixth gear I'm going on the throttle I'm going put the clutch in it's worked so yeah and back in gear and back in gear fantastic Whew. no it's been it's great but next year we don't need more power, we need more handling, please. <laughs> I know, I don't need more power myself now, uh, because uh, I can do yeah, ski. Yeah, you can do 400, I mean, <laughs> technically. Technically, yes, uh, I don't want to try that though. Uh, I would want to leave. <laughs> yeah, but I can do like uh, skid marks at uh, 130 miles an hour, so if I want to. 120 kilometers per yes, hour? Yes, yes. Um, yeah, it will, it will do burnout on a sleepy uh, tarmac, on proper tarmac and bond, but still, yeah. Wow. The no, car is on purpose on stock, semi-stock T65 rears because it's more lively and I can enjoy driving at more humane speeds. Yeah. Uh, but on the track, obviously, you want as much grip as possible, so... Oh. Are we too loud? Okay. Too loud? Too loud? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting because I have uh, catalytic converters. No, but uh, but not only that, mm -hmm. because in Flugplatz, mm -hmm. where yellow. is the microphone, there was a yellow flag. Well, we're not going on flat, so it makes uh, very make, little sense. Yeah, do they make mistakes? I don't know. It's, uh, but, I mean, if you're done, you're done anyway. Mm, I mean, yeah. We'll come back next year. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to, yes. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to leave today. Yeah. Uh, but it was fantastic, really appreciate it. I'm surprised, this is like, this makes no sense, to being too loud. Yeah, like, you know, McCrawler, uh, you drove uh, earlier, it's way louder than my car. I, I know, I know, no, no, this this makes zero sound from the rear. It's, yeah. It, it, like, I don't know, maybe the, the, the turbo flutter, like, kicked off the, the noise. Yes. Hey, man, from Spain. Hey, you. Nice find of you, guy. Nice to meet you. Take hey, thank you. Can I go here and uh, to the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry for being an asshole. <laughs> Cheeky. Yeah. No, but yeah, there's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was quite an interesting experience. Unfortunately, we couldn't see what the car is capable of in Schwedenkreuz. At the same time, luckily, we couldn't see it because I think with limp mode accelerating out of Flugplatz with 50 kilometers per hour, we could do 250. This car is capable of 300, but I don't think it's safe. So. Uh, 
very good where we are. So yeah. next, next year, better suspension and brakes, and then we can. Yes, yeah, B16. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. but brake wise, uh, I, I have idea what to do. Just need to get parts yeah. in place. Uh, my brother's in 92, he's using Porsche conversion yeah. uh, for his front and rears, yes. and that works very well. Yeah, the yeah. pad is like twice the size. Um, so I might do that as well. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, and check like bushings and stuff if they're old and worn out. I, I have all poly bushes. Okay, yeah. then it should be good. Yeah, but I think they didn't set my traction properly, uh, tracking, oh, okay. before I left UK. Because yeah. I just did alignment in UK and since they did alignment, the car is pulling to one side when you accelerate. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I tried to get booking here yesterday, impossible to yeah, track yeah, on Saturday. Saturday yeah. So, yeah, we, we basically cool. had to go what we have, but... Next year is going to be our year. <laughs> <laughs> Always better. This year was already better, next year even better. Yes. Good. Small steps, but uh, the car is reliable, as you can see. It, <laughs> it's not lacking on mileage, and I still have my stock. So is it? Yeah, because speaking of the engine, mm -hmm. like how how original is it? Okay, block head, uh, my uh, 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 crankshaft, uh, camshafts, they original. Okay. The pistons, rods, they replaced with forged units, but yeah. my originals were intact. They just sit on the shelf. Uh, because I thought when I have engine in parts, I will do everything I can with my budget. Uh, and apart from that, uh, like all the auxiliaries are replaced because yeah. obviously fueling has to be stronger. HPFP pumps on this engine, they like to go at about 100 to 200 kph, uh, yeah. kilometers. Um, so like water pumps change like three times already or four times with yeah. this mileage. But these are normal maintenance things you would say on N54. Yeah. Uh, Oh, and every hundred to two hundred thousand kilometers, you have to do injectors. So I managed to change five out of six because the sixth only arrived now. Yeah. There's shortage with injectors. Uh, so potentially that's why we had uh, also uh, limp mode uh, misfire ones. But yeah. uh, most likely it's because there's too much fuel now pumped. The map is set for my fuel controller, and I have drive three pumps at hundred percent okay. all the time. So there is too much pressure in the system. And uh, one last thing, the turbo, I forgot to mention, was a pork corner, right? No, this is a Garrett uh, GTX uh, 3584 okay. RS. Okay, So wow. the 1000 brake horsepower turbo. Wow, alright. Yeah. So, and it works. <laughs> and it works, it works reliably uh, since 190,000 kilometers. Wow, so you put 200,000 kilometers on it. On that turbo, yeah. Crazy. Well, thanks so much, it's been amazing. Thank you. So,